the great heathen army, the fury of the Northmen incarnate. For 15 years, the sons of the legendary Ragnar Lothbrok led an unstoppable army that raided Britain from the Clyde to the Thames to revenge the death of their father. But what began as a series of raids turned into a mass conquest, with Swedes, Norwegians, and Danes flocking to join the army and occupy the newly controlled Eastern England. The last kingdom to oppose them was Wessex, led by Alfred the Great. And the rest, as they say, is history. After the Great Army's defeat at Eddington in 878, a treaty was drawn, and all of eastern England was ceded to Viking control, creating a land under Danish law. But what seems a defeat on the surface is the future of a Viking nation. And in Thrones, you'll take the Great Viking Army from raiders to rulers. You'll play a campaign as uneasy occupiers of a foreign land. While the locals may have welcomed you on arrival, they certainly didn't intend for you to stay. Your game will be a constant balance between continuing your conquests and appeasing your English subjects, because even a Viking army can't fight at home and abroad at the same time. But the great army hasn't lost its teeth. It still knows how to wring every coin from a conquered settlement. They gain a faction bonus to income from raiding and sacking. And with a thirst for revenge, your men gain a boost to morale when fighting against Anglo-Saxon armies. Two Viking kingdoms will be available to play, East Aengel, modern East Anglia, and Northumbra, Viking-occupied Northumbria. Firmly under Norse rule at the game's start, when the Viking army landed in the north in 867, they took the city of York, King Ael of Northumbria tried to recapture it, but the sons of Ragnar caught him by surprise. In revenge for Ael's execution of their father, they pulled his lungs out through his back and splayed them across his body. The dreaded Viking Blood Eagle. No other king has dared risk being caught alive by Vikings since. Your starting leader should be Ragnar's son, Half Dan Ragnarsson, but after splitting the great Viking army and taking half of his men to Ireland in search of personal glory, his army in York threw him out. Northumbria was on the verge of collapse when St. Cuthbert himself appeared in a vision and named the man to be their next king, Guthred, a slave. And now, newly freed from his chains, he must find a way to temper the fiery passions of his people. But the warriors of Northumbra are still Vikings at heart, with unique combat missions given in game that evoke the glory of Gragnar Lothbrok. In battles, their units will charge harder into combat with strong axe units and berserkers, led by their unique unit, the Northumbrian Thanes. But in the south, Guthrum, king of East Aengel, is a man humbled. Another victim of the pride of Ragnar's sons. Beaten by Alfred of Wessex at Eddington, he was forced to convert to Christianity and adopt Alfred as his father. After Guthred's defeat, the remnants of the Viking army retreated back to East Anglia. Beaten, but not broken. Now Guthrum finds himself at the head of a growing kingdom, with Danish nobles grumbling at his back and lusting for English blood. As the king of the Danelaw, you'll receive unique combat missions to further your line. And as Vikings are always at their happiest when conquering, your armies will gain a bonus to melee skills when fighting in enemy territory. East Aengel fields the same good all-around infantry as Northumbra, with access to the unique sword and spear infantry, the Anglian champions. The great Viking army offers a glimpse of the Norse often forgotten. After they raided, they settled and built lasting kingdoms. It's a different take on the typical Viking faction, with the influence of the Anglo-Saxon kingdoms seeping into the wild and woolly pirates of the north, creating a kingdom that combines the strengths of both nations. But come May 3rd, will it be enough to claim the throne of Britannia? Only time will tell. Thanks for watching. If you're looking for a more traditional Viking faction, don't worry, the Viking Sea Kings are still to come, and their blood is nothing but salt and iron, so watch for them on the horizon.